All right, if the audio quality on this video is bad, I apologize. I have to put the phone fairly close to me, and uh, hopefully it's picking up the sound. And I just wanted to give you the latest in the external mic saga. Um, as you know, on the Samsung phone, the uh, external mic quit working. Um, was it the mic? Could be. Uh, but anyway, I'll just tell you the story. So I... Uh, Called Samsung, spent 12 hours on the phone with them because it works with the voice, voice recorder on the phone. So that indicates to me it's not the mic. Uh, so um, I took it, they recommended I take it to, uh, it's called Break and Fix here in uh, the villages. So I took the phone there and uh, good, you know, it was good because I had a good long conversation with the guy and I told him my sob story. I said, you know, Google Fi won't take the phone back because I just want to trade this phone in and get a Pixel. But uh, no can do. I, you know, got screwed by Google Fi. I got screwed by Samsung. So um, <clears throat> anyway, that's. Uh, but we, you know, I, I told him. I said, you know, I want to switch out of Google Fi and I want to go to um, uh, maybe Patriot Mobile. And uh, he says, man, don't let your politics get into your technology. He says, uh, he says Patriot Mobile just uses Verizon's towers. So you know, what difference does it make? You know. He says, I just use Verizon. Now, Verizon's expensive. And for Google Fi, because I don't use much data, it's still pretty cheap. So uh, I guess I'm going to bow down to the one I serve because I'm going to get what I deserve. So we're just going to stick with Google Fi because they do use the um, the T-Mobile towers, the uh, U.S. cellular towers, and the Sprint towers. And uh, for my 1,000-mile trip, I'll get really good coverage. And the phone, at least it will work. Uh, for you know, just walking around type of videos. Uh, although I think the GoPro is better, GoPro Hero Nine is better for walking around videos. And uh, um, but you know, I, I I like to use a combination of both. And uh, so anyway, this is being made on the phone. I wanted to talk about the latest purchase. So I bought the um, the Media Mod from uh, GoPro. I've I've been playing with it. This is about the tenth, sixteenth time I made this video. And uh, <clears throat> so I'm you know. I'm, when I plugged in the um, the mic to the GoPro, I had no sound. When I used the audio cable, I I tried using another cable. I'm still playing with all this, so I'll let you know how things turn out. I uh, just wanted to briefly uh, make the video. Uh, there's a lot of things I like about the Media Mod so far. Um, you know, I, I, I've i used the mic. I think you do get better sound quality using the, the GoPro mic, and it does come with this, uh, this little um, sound, uh, you know, for the wind. You can put that over the mic, it just snaps on, so that's pretty cool. So that might uh, give me a little better sound quality on a, on a windy day. Um, the other thing, a lot of people have dissed the uh, the medium on, um, on on YouTube, you know, they say it's not worth the money or whatever. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, it was a lot of money. It was 80, 80 bucks plus tax, you know, so... Um, but, uh, you know, one of the reasons that people are, are mad is because a lot of their GoPro 7 and 8... Uh, accessories won't work with the GoPro 9 and uh, I'm, I'm just giving you my my speculation on on that is you know those those other GoPros had the ports built right into the from what I can tell I've never owned one so I don't know for sure but from looking at the videos they had the ports built right in up to the GoPro so that you could just hook right in you didn't probably didn't need a media mod for those I don't know and this is my first GoPro and I've really new with it. But I think the reason for that, if, you know, is because this gets, it's waterproof down to like 32 feet or 33 feet. And if you had the ports in the GoPro itself, I don't think you could get that uh, type of waterproofness. Um, because to put the, uh, the media mod on this little door, you, you have to open this door and then it snaps off. And then you have to take the GoPro and you just slide the, slide this onto the GoPro. And, uh, so then at the, you know, in my opinion, you wouldn't want to be using the media mod in a in a, a thunderstorm or a, you know rain, or if you're going to be you know going through some water or anything. So uh, um, I think that the the media mod is just meant for you know on a nice day you're going out and you want to make a better uh, video with your audio. Um, that's what I think I'm going to use it for anyway. Um, so that's why I think they they separated the ports from the GoPro to make it a little bit more uh, weatherproof. Um, so that's it. Uh, we'll get another, uh, video when I, if I, if and when I get an external mic working with the GoPro, uh, I've kind of given up on the phone now. 
All right, so I um, wanted to show you the, uh, the GoPro with the media mod on it. Um, all you do is you uh, pull that uh, little flap down on the side. Whoop, heck on it. Pull the flap down on the side, pull the door open to the GoPro, and then this uh, little door just uh, snaps right off. You know, one of the things that I like about GoPro is uh, they gave you this little um, kit to keep stuff in. So I keep the external microphone in here and all the, the added parts and the, uh, the media mod, uh, um, you know, wind, uh, windscreen for the, for the audio. Um, and then what I do when I take the door off always, I just drop it into this little kit. And that way, I, you know, especially when you're out in the forest and stuff, or even in your car, you know, that way, because you, you don't want to lose that. You can be screwed at that point. Um, one of the things that I noticed, and I've added this to my kit, was I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't get these little things to pop up without, uh, with just my fingers. So I used this little screwdriver, there we go, to get them up. Because uh, if I try to just use my fingernails, I couldn't, couldn't get them out. So I added this to my kit. Um, and I did want to show you, uh, you know, the, in the same way that you mount the GoPro to the selfie stick, uh, you mount the uh, GoPro to the selfie stick uh, with the media mod the same way. See that? So that would be, and then you just screw in the little, uh, there it goes, under the chair again. And then there's the screw. I was, <laughs> I've already made this video twice. And I did the same damn thing. I've dropped that screwdriver twice now, and guess where it went? Underneath the chair. I mean, how come whenever you drop something, it doesn't go out into the middle of the floor or someplace where you can easily get it. It always bounces. It, it could be a coin. It always bounces and goes underneath something. And, you know, I mean, you can see that my house is most, well, you can't see that, but I mean, my house is 90% air and just a little bit of furniture and not swear. Whenever I drop something, it always goes underneath the, the chair or underneath something. And then I have to move it to get it up. All right, enough on that. Let's, uh, let's get to, uh, using an external mic with the GoPro. All right. So this is this is what I had before. And uh, it's they called the Power DYs. And I tell you what it did a good job for about a year. And that's one year warranty. Isn't it amazing? I mean, I'm 1 month out of warranty and uh it don't work no more. At least I think. So uh, I've done a full court press, people. I had you know, before I make a 10,000 mile trip, I had full court press. I bought, uh, I did a lot of research. I ended up with that purple uh, purple mic. Uh, we'll make a video about that. And then I bought another mic uh, just in case, because, uh, you know, I'm kind of realizing now, you know, you got to have multiple mics. Because, you know, if I'd had another mic, I would have probably known that this could be the problem. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, enough, but, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get the video equipment for the trip in order. Um, but here's what, here's what the problem was. Let's, uh, Let's get the video going. Let me uh, adjust the mic here, or the camera, and I'll show you. Let me cut my headlamp on. All right, so right here, I'm pretty sure uh, with this tent that that's where it leaked before, because all the water was centered around in here on my last trip. And this is the old 21-year-old Bibler tent. Great, great first night tent. We've talked about tent camping. Let's bring the I have the light right here in the headlamp. Hopefully it's not affecting the, the camera from the back. And by the way, I've got the, um, the uh, uh, media mod. Let me know if my video or my audio quality is a little better. And then over here, this, uh, this was the other spot, okay? Uh, or the other couch where I, it also leaked because I had a lot of water around in here. I know, am I gonna sleep in this tent in the rain? I don't really want to. Um, now you can see the last trip, uh, I did a lot of work on this tent. I, I reinforced it with the uh, Gorilla Tape and, uh, you know, over here in this corner. And, uh, you know, it's a four, it's a four season tent, so it's supposed to work in the, uh, and man, I'm so pissed off because it rained like cats and dogs tonight. And I could have put this tent out in the rain if I had seam sealed it. But I've been busy working on this, uh, this external mic problem, and so I just, literally for three days now of course i get my try to get my exit you know it's a balance to life you know i made that balance to life video so you know i got to get out i got to get my exercise and you know, i got to pay bills i got to you know do everything that you know to, i was out blowing leaves today that was another thing that took up a lot of time i 
have these huge oak trees around my house and you see me cry on your shoulder in other videos so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the brush out and I'm gonna set up the camera and we're gonna seam seal that right there let's get started so I know the lighting is bad uh, let's see maybe I can bring it over I can't cut the headlamp on um, but as you can see we do have some good seam seal in this tube but like I said with these tent care products it has you can't get it out so what I'm gonna have to do is I got to poke a hole in the top here and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get the last of the seam seal out and this you know this is always a problem and that's why I told you uh, you know when you're treating a tent you really just got to use this stuff up man I mean just just lather the whole damn tent you know we've talked about other tent care products and so now I'm gonna go poke a hole in the top and let's see if we can get the seam seal out so I wanted to get this on the video trying to get the seam seal out I was coming in through the top and I busted the seal on the side and now I got it on my fingers and uh, so what I'm going to do is take, you know, you don't want to waste any of it. So let's spin this around. I'll cut the light on. Got it on my hands. Oh, come on. There we go. All right. So hopefully you can see. I'm going to get it off my fingers with this brush. Starting to harden. Darn it. Let's just start painting it on here. I've got to get it off my hands. And then I'm going to take a paper towel. Get it off. Let's see it. Already getting sticky. Yeah, going at this stuff. Uh, they shouldn't make it so fast drying, you know. That's the that's one big problem with these seam seal. So I'm gonna put get it off my hands with paper towel. Hopefully you're watching all of this. Let me tilt the camera a little bit so you can see what's going on here. Egg on it. I should have had the latex gloves on to begin with, but I didn't expect it to bust out the tube like that. So let's see. I don't not even sure I can get these latex gloves on. Man, I tell you what, that seam seal is, is hard to get off your hands. So I was being extremely stupid not uh, not having the latex gloves on. It seems, to, and the other thing is the great thing about being inside the tent here is, let me get my headlamp. Hold on. Great thing about being inside the tent is I don't care if I get seam seal all over the bottom of the tent because all it'll do is is reinforce it. So what we're going to have to do now, now that I got the latex gloves on, you're going to see. See, there's some seam seal. Let's wipe that in, huh? Always good to have it on the tent. Anywhere on the tent. So let's see where it's coming out. There it is. Okay, so we see see that right there? Okay, so we're going to start painting that on. We're going to use up the rest of this tube right here. I'm just lathering it up. Lathering it up. I'll keep throwing it on until this tube is gone. You see, I'm getting some on the latex gloves, but at least I got, I'm getting it out of the tube, so I'm not gonna waste it all. Damn it. All right, so let's get some more. Let's literally, really get it on the brush. There we go. We got it. We got a lot on there this time. Now we're starting to see it sealing that area. Yeah, yeah, we're getting it on there good. So hopefully, I have a feeling I'm going to finish this tube off just on this portion of the tent. And I guess I'll go into Amazon and probably order up some more. Although we have another whole tube. But the problem is, you see what happens when you don't use it for a year. And you open up these tubes, man. They, uh, they just don't, uh, don't like it. Now, I'll cut this video at some point. Because uh, right now my gloves are too sticky to touch the camera. So, but uh, you can see what I'm doing. I'm just, I just load it on, man. I mean, you know, you, it's, uh, it's insane with these tents. But this is where I'm pretty sure it leaked. And see, this is some stitching. And I'll probably try to get it from the outside with the other tube. You know, once I'm done with this one. I think I'm just going to use this whole rest of this tube just on this spot right here, right right in here. We're just gonna keep painting it on, painting it on, painting it on. And uh, this should seal this, if this is where it leaked, and I'm pretty sure this is where it did. Now you can see that that right there, that's what, what I had to bust through. Here, I can use my pinky finger. Let's cut the camera off. So I wanted to show you 
we got as much out as we could. And, uh, you know, I uh, think we got this covered, at least this portion of the tent. I mean, I went at this thing. And you can see we got it all over the bottom of the tent, but what do you care, you know? You don't want to waste any of this stuff. This stuff's not cheap. And, uh, and I've got to throw all this stuff away. These gloves are going in the trash. Of course, now my hands, I'm going to have to wait a while until it dries and try to get the seam seal off my hands. You know, I, I, like I said, I didn't expect it to bust out of the tube when I was trying to pop it open. I was trying to get it through the top, of course. So uh, we'll open up that other seam seal tube and we'll get the other side of the tent and maybe put a little more right here. And that'll be it. I mean, and then I'll pack this tent away and uh, hopefully it'll be good to go for the trip. Peace out. I don't feel any need to show you the other side of the tent. I'm just going to throw this up as a quick video. Um, you know, and this whole video series is really just about me documenting my journey. Um, once again, once again, we're in a holding pattern. Um, I didn't realize that external mic, and I showed you that it's the, um, you know, you might want, want to buy these. Uh, it was the Power DeWise, and I'm pretty sure that this is the problem. I won't know until I get the other two external knock, uh, mics on uh, October the 12th, um, which is good. I mean, you know, I, I don't mind. I, we're gonna, I've got to get some exercise, and I need to actually live a life. <laughs> I'm sick of working on this damn trip, man. But, you know, I guess you saw... You know, that brush that I was using was an old brush, and it still was, well, you probably couldn't tell, but it was hard as a rock. And really what you want is a nice flimsy brush, and that's why I bought a whole bag of these, these uh, paint brushes. So that brush is in the garbage right now. And like I said, what they do is with the, with the seam sealer, they just give you this little brush. And, you know, once you use it one time, it's garbage, you know, and they only give you one. So I, I, I prefer using the paint brushes, and, uh, and so this is where we're heading next. But you saw what happened with that little tube of seam sealer um, because the last time I used it, I didn't use it all up. And uh, I mean, it's used up now. I mean, we didn't waste a whole lot of it, which was good. But, you know, what a pain in the butt because it just sealed over at the top. It's just like a glue bottle. You know, this is basically just glue, you know. So that's kind of what you run into. And uh, so, you know, we've just to, since I kind of talking about tents, in general, you know that, you know, I've got the instant water repellent, great for boots, uh, you know, and then we, I told, talked about this on a previous video, the tent fabric sealant. We're not going to do that this time because I just did it a year ago for this particular tent. And then I will do this. Okay, this is tent and gear solar proof. And all you do is you just wet the tent down and then spray this all over it and then let it, let it dry out, you know. So we're, um, so we're getting there, but we're in a holding pattern and I'll get those two new mics in and maybe do a little review of that. And then also, I guess I'm gonna make another video on the GoPro because I've learned some new settings. I mean, like that uh, bit rate. Um, why in the world they've got that set down at low? I guess, you know, because most people don't have the storage. I've got 512 gigabytes <laughs> on this GoPro. So you want that bit rate as high as you can to make the quality of videos better. Yeah, I just happened to see one YouTuber guy and he talked about it. I didn't even know there was a bit rate bit rate setting on the on the U, on the GoPro and uh, so I'm going to talk about all this uh, in a future video because I am adjusting the settings I'm still learning because what I want to do is I want to make my own custom um, you it, with the GoPro and I haven't figured out how to do it yet but you can make your own custom uh, settings um, configuration so to speak you know and so then you can tell the GoPro somehow and I haven't figured it out to use your custom settings configuration rather than use the uh, the standard they've got like a standard and an activity and you know there's there's one and I don't even know how to pick between those I mean right now I think I'm just using the standard so let's get this video up and uh, you know we got till the 12th now we'll just keep I'll keep hammering away at it hammering away but I gotta have some fun I'm going for a hike tomorrow peace out be free and let's give the mantra freedom oh freedom great to live in the republican free state of florida under the leadership of desantis boy i tell you this making videos is something else so when i brought up using the new um uh higher i think it's called a bit rate this is what I saw in DaVinci Resolve, media offline. And I was like, what the hell is going on, man? I, you know, because you could play the audio, but it couldn't, uh, it couldn't uh, render the, uh, the media. 
So I did some homework and I found this uh, uh, little website, beginnersapproach.com, DaVinci Resolve Media Offline. Now, this could be from you just uh, moving, moving the video to a wrong directory. But then you get down here and it says, uh, when you import all the clips to DaVinci Resolve, they turn offline if you drag them. This is exactly my problem. And it says the issue is related to playing back the 265 or I don't even know what this stuff is. I mean, I'm learning about this as I go. And uh, so I said, well, wait a minute, you know, what the hell have I got to do? So what I had to do was, here you go. Hopefully this is coming in on the, on, I'm just making this with the phone here. Um, so you got to download this H-E-V-E-C video extension. It's a buck, you know. Now you could you can find free versions of this thing out there on the internet, but uh, are you going to trust them? I mean, when you're only going to pay a buck at Microsoft, I mean, I understand, you know, you. But I, you know, who knows? That thing might have a virus attached to it or something, you know. So I just went ahead and paid the doggone buck, and so I just wanted to show you DaVinci Resolve. Check it out. So I was, like I said, I was showing that media offline. All I did was install this, uh, reboot, and check it out. Boom. So I'm making this video right now, and now uh, DaVinci Resolve is rendering the um, the higher bit rate uh, just fine. Um, so, you know, as I learn, I'll just keep uh, tacking on to these videos. But uh, I just had to, had to show you this, and uh, it's, just, it's just crazy, man. It's just crazy. All right, peace out.